All right, we'll take you back to that report on the e-hailing taxi scheme launched by the Lagos State Government today. A partnership agreement for a new e-hailing transport scheme was signed in 2021 by Lagos State Governor Babajide Sawunlu and Chinese CIG Motors Company Limited. The result of that agreement is now manifest with the launch of the new e-hailing tax scheme. It is known as Lagos Ride with 1,000 sport utility vehicles for the first phase. The scheme is expected to compete with other e-hailing platforms. The driver or operator has a right to own the vehicle after payment is fully made within three to four years. Governor Sawunlu said the initiative is to further ensure a seamless transportation system for the commuting populace in the state. Under this arrangement, all beneficiaries will be provided with a brand new car, which over time will become the driver's property after the completion of the payment of the vehicles that have been heavily subsidized. The governor described today as historic. He said it's a step to further drive the development of the transportation master plan to put Lagos on the plan of a safer, comfortable, modern and forward-looking tax scheme. We are starting and we are putting our money down to show to the private sector that we can do it and we all can do it collaboratively. These are no workers of Lagos State. These are Lagosians, these are Nigerians that will be taking over this. So our arms are open to other private sector investors to join us to ensure that we can increase this fleet to 3,000, to 5,000, to 10,000. Commissioner for Transportation Frederick Oladende highlighted some of the safety features of the scheme. The safety and security of lives and property are equally as paramount as the pleasure the drivers or the riders will enjoy on the Lagos Ride taxi schemes. Hence, the installation of security embedded dashboard camera in each car for real time activities and monitoring, with panic buttons connected to the control command center. That can be used to either that can be used by either parties inside the car in case of assault or emergency. Plus TV News spoke with some of the beneficiaries. It was something that we saw that would be of benefit to drivers, especially to alleviate the challenges and the burdens that drivers have in terms of owning their cars. The modern ride service is one of the state government's socio-economic intervention programs. The government promised to get it professionally managed in line with global best practices. From Lagos, Love Ikuku Oyedokun, Plus TV News. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.